It's an incredible story about a missionary whose faith took him across the globe and withstood the ultimate test, a deadly diagnosis. It, I was so devastated, I couldn't even breathe. I was just like, you just couldn't hardly breathe because, you know, you're just, you know, at the peak of our mission. I mean, I had a platform in the entire nation of Myanmar, you know, and to think, God, what, why would you allow this to happen? You know, are you punishing me? Did I make some huge mistake? Well, here we are at David's and of course the entire the entire orphanage is here to greet us. Dan Winkleman and his wife Sandy were full-time missionaries in the nation of Myanmar when he got into a slight motorcycle accident, hurting his back. After the back pain intensified, he insisted on a CT scan. That's when he received the devastating diagnosis, stage three pancreatic cancer. It didn't register at first, pancreatic cancer, what, the, what is that? His son had heard about the reputation of Dr. Doug Evans at the Medical College of Wisconsin. Dan and Sandy flew back to the States and were able to see Dr. Evans right away. He said, we're gonna to have to try to go through a process and uh, get this thing sh shrunk so that uh, we can hopefully do surgery. And uh, he says, but what I can tell you right now is that we have a plan. He says, we have a plan. Dr. Evans is an amazing man. At that point, I didn't realize how amazing he was, but just to hear somebody have a positive, you know, outlook and he, they, the whole time we have been with them, especially at the beginning, they, all of his staff and people were so positive. Dan went through several months of chemotherapy, but actually seemed to be getting worse. It was apparent based upon his uh, CT scan and laboratory results that he was not responding. So he was, his chemotherapy was switched and he really had a tremendous response then uh, to the change in chemotherapy. Uh, and then uh, after the chemotherapy received radiation and then a fairly complicated uh, pancreatic cancer operation. The surgery was in March of 2019 and our daughter was, getting, was going to be married in, in September. So that was one of our goals to see him be able to walk her down the aisle. And he was able to do that. He was able to be there for the whole wedding. He wow. got tired toward the end of the reception and he was very thin, but he was able to be there. So we are so thankful and she is especially thankful. He had a few little hiccups uh, during his recovery and, uh, you know, had some, uh, some physical as well as some emotional uh, challenges uh, during his recovery period, but now, uh, thank goodness, it's really 100% and it's essentially asymptomatic, uh, doing great, has, and, and has, uh, has no evidence of, of cancer recurrence. So in his case, uh, the treatment uh, clearly was uh, tremendously effective. It could be the worst of times, but you know, it, it, it could also possibly be the best of times. Sometimes in the valley, in the darkness, it's where we really meet the light. It's where we really understand things and how temporary life is. And maybe there is something beyond this natural touch, taste and feel uh, life that we live, this carnal everyday human life. Maybe there's something beyond that that we should discover. He wants to use his voice and his story to make an impact on the fight against pancreatic cancer. You know, you might be viewing this video right now and wondering how you can help, first of all, you know, by being a, a dealer of hope and help and healing. And the, but what we're really asking for right now is that you would bring the financial part of that um, as well. And so we're asking you to give generously to the Cena Magowitz Foundation so that they can continue those clinical trials that have already produced uh, great results in fruit. Uh, many people are still alive as a result of that. So let's find a cure. Let's, let's invest in prayer and hope and help and healing, but also invest financially and make it happen. Together we can do it. Yeah.
If you'd like to donate toward Dan's fundraising goal, he has a personal campaign set up on our website, sinamagowitz.org. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.